Now to a report out today from the Federal Institute of Medicine on the persistent problem of prescription drug mistakes in this country. The study finds errors are shockingly common and can lead to expensive medical problems and even tragic results. The story from NBC's Tom Costello. It was supposed to be a short stay in a rehabilitation clinic, but eight days after Elsie Prevenson checked in, she died of an overdose. The coroner found that a drug she was supposed to receive once a week had been administered every day. It was a very, very traumatic death for her to experience. But not unusual. Medication errors harm one and a half million Americans each year, more than half in long-term care facilities, and roughly 7,000 die. I was surprised and uh, shocked at just how common and how serious a problem uh, this is. Doctors get much of the blame for illegible handwriting and failing to check patients' records for conflicting drugs. And patients fail to keep track of their own medications. And the carelessness extends to clinics and hospitals. Amazingly, researchers found every hospitalized patient experiences some sort of medication error every single day. The solution? We're asking that by 2000 and recommending that by 2010, all prescriptions will be written electronically. At Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, where physicians order 18,000 doses a day, doctors must enter prescriptions into a computer that warns of any fatal combinations. Pharmacists then recheck, and nurses must scan the ID barcode on a patient's wristband to ensure the medication is correct. We've uh, seen greater than a 75% reduction in the incidence of dispensing errors in the pharmacy. Researchers also want better drug packaging and labeling. But ultimately, patients and their families must play a more active role in managing their prescriptions to minimize risk. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Quickly.